Hey guys, thought I'd do a review on this uh, Dan Models Ford N900 kit. Kind of a rare kit. He only did a few different trucks. He did a Kenworth, this Ford, a medium duty Ford, and I forget what else. Um, this kit is not for beginners. I mean, this thing is, it's fragile. It doesn't have any instructions, and there's a hell of a lot of pieces. So this would not be for the lighthearted as far as building, you know, building trucks. But I thought I'd go over and show you. It's a pretty cool kit. I bought everything you can get for it. Plus, he also, I asked him, can I get an extra axle and wheels to make it a twin screw? <clears throat> so I got the extra axle and wheels, but I didn't get the springs. Or a, an additional frame for the mouth, but I'll just scratch build all that if I ever even get to this thing. Lots of flash to clean. Frame is one piece. Pretty comprehensive. Got all the mounts, cross members. And they're detailed. They're recessed. The cab. grill upper grill molded open kind of thick not noticeable on the finished model though got this recess here for the air cleaner this little guy here and it just Goes in there like that. Nice fit. Got a little cap that goes on it. This piece gets cut off. Sorry, this piece. The interior floor. Front fenders. one bear with me guys my allergies are killing me <clears throat> so I'll be snorting and snooting <clears throat> so I want to mention somebody mentioned in one of my videos in a comment that I have tracks on my arms guys that's from dialysis that's my access so just in case anybody's wondering I'm not a drug user. I've never touched the stuff in my entire life. <clears throat> and it sucks having to have that, but hey, if I want to live, i got to have it. The front grill, or front of the cab, I should say. Well, they're pretty thin. Keep sticking my arm on stuff. <clears throat> the front grill guard. Pretty fragile piece. Got some fuel tanks with uh, diamond plate detail, but it's pretty, pretty thin. You have to be careful with paint to not lose that detail. Front bumper. Builds into a really nice looking truck. I've seen one. This guy's in Romania. And uh, the ones he's built, man, they, they look really, really nice. Really detailed dashboard. <clears throat> Got the inside door panels. One thing I forgot to mention, you gotta be, you gotta figure this is coming all the way from Romania, so it's kind of expected you might get small pieces that break. But you got your wing window bar here. It broke on this side. No big deal. Just throw a piece of styrene square rod in there and it'll look exactly the same. <clears throat> as long as it's the same size as that. Comes with nice five spoke wheels. I've assembled this one. 
It actually look like this when you get it. And then you put the rings <coughs> on it. And it comes with tires, but they're hard resin. And all they are is exact copies of the Italeri rubber tires. So I just threw them in a box and I'll just put Italeri rubber tires on this. And here's the front wheel. Uses the same ring on the back to complete the wheel. Brake drum. Got a nice exhaust stack and it does come with a piece of photo etch for the muffler guard as well as the letters for the grill that say diesel and that has to be bent around the stack <clears throat> comes in little jewel type headlights well, I can't put them in the bucket. Let me see if I can kind of assemble it here. You got your bucket that sits in the face of the truck in the front. Then this little bitty jewel headlight, of course, sits in there upside down. Like that. Pretty cool. Okay has a ton of small parts tie rod which is it's so small and thin and fragile I wouldn't even use it I'd use something fabricate one out of metal you know because it does steer well you can make it steer you see the axle comes without the spindles <clears throat> and then the spindles these also have casting blocks on them Lots of cutting to be done before you can even start building this thing. Lots of cutting, filing, grinding. Got a radiator. This is a complete kit. When you get it, you can build a full truck. <clears throat> Got fifth wheel components. I know I'm kind of all over the place, but the parts are just laying everywhere. You know, your normal AMT type fifth wheel. Nothing special. Got some nice axle detail. Rear axle. I would never leave resin pins like this. Too fragile. I chop them and drill through and put a metal bar of the same diameter. And that way it's much stronger. More photo etch. The cowl vent and the front grill emblem. Some rear leaf springs. Oh, come on. Damn it. Oh. Some slippery jumpy. Rear leaf springs with the helper spring. Nice mold. Got the front springs with the shackles. You know, once you build this thing, it's going to be fragile, man. You got to be careful with it. And we got miscellaneous cross members. Drive shafts are real nice, they're molded open. And if you know how to mold resin cast, you know that's kind of tricky to do. Got some air tanks. One piece. Another drive shaft. Got fuel tank mounts. Nice little fuel tank mounts. They are W molded or I don't know, U shape or 
I don't know what you'd call that, but they are open on the back. <clears throat> and then, I guess this is a steering gear. It's got really tiny little arms on it. Like I said, there's no instructions, so I'm going to have to figure this out as I go. It's probably going to be a nightmare. I don't even have pictures to go by. Spindles. There, one less part. Oh, where'd you go? Well, gotta find that later. Not a cross member. I think these are for the uh, helper springs. A little, the little tabs that the helper spring would hit against. Got four of those. Got some chocks. Appear to be for the front. I don't think the back has any shocks. That was what fell one of the shocks. Shocking, isn't it? Got a little. Looks like a pitman arm. It's got some uh, Ford emblems, I believe, for the sides of the hood. Some of these parts are molded in a different kind of resin. Has brakes, brake chambers, and slack adjusters. Some mirrors, mirror heads. Probably got to make the brackets out of uh, wire. This gets cut off. Some tiny little pedals. And it looks like a spot mirror or a turn signal. So, I don't know if these are hood clamps or what they are. Little tiny pieces. And it got it gave me two air cleaner tops. More pedals and a turn signal. Got a uh, passenger seat. Solid little seat mount I think this one broke that's the nature of the game when you're buying resin stuff from across the world they sometimes don't make it in one piece that's why I say this is not for the faint of heart I know this is broken but here's a piece to it right there the back of the driver's seat and the bottom of the driver's seat. The steering wheel. Uh, the steering column. And shift boot. Not sure what that is. Lots of figuring out to do on this kit. Very tiny, very fragile window cranks and door handles for the inside. That's about everything for the main truck. And I got the engine kit that goes with it, which is a Cummins, and it's pretty much the same as like a AMT Cummins. It's got more detail. It's a nicer casting. Got a little place for the dipstick tube. Yeah, he added some detail. Looks real nice.
front cover. these back in here so I can keep the engine separate from the rest. Got, now this is scratch bill because I've never seen an exhaust manifold like that. Must be unique to the Ford when the Cummins is used. Got a very detailed what appears to be the air compressor. Intake manifold. It's the back of it, and then the front of it. And I'm not sure what this is. Some type of pump. Almost a hydraulic pump or a power steering pump or. I think there are lots of the parts are unique to this truck. The water manifold. The only member of my fan club. Got separate pulleys that are grooved. So it'll be easy to put some real rubber belts on it. That's nice. Got that one, got that one, and then got the bit of a bump. Well, what the hell that is? Kind of looks like the starter, but it's got two flanges on it. Have to do some studying. Got another bitty tiny pulley, like an idler. Uh, looks like a fill tube here. And then radiator hose. Come here, girl. Here's a starter. And then another pulley with an idler bracket. Keep getting off screen. I'll probably never build it, but it's it's still cool to have it, you know. Some pipe for something. A little oil filter set up. Remember, these blocks get cut off. They're just molding blocks. Another pulley. A really tiny rod of some type. Bear in mind, guys, I'm a master technician of over 30 years. If I don't know what the hell this is, you know... It's weird because I've been working on trucks and things my whole life. And some tiny little piece. But I've never worked on this exact truck. And a lot of these parts are unique to this exact truck. And then it has a vacuum formed windshield. Which needs to be trimmed. Pretty good thickness of plastic. Fairly clear. It's got some like waves in it. And then it has teeny tiny windshield wipers, real fragile, down in the bag. Take those out. I'll probably break them. And that about covers it, guys. That's the whole kit. You know, for an experienced modeler, it's a really nice kit. Builds into a really cool truck, and there's only, to my knowledge, 
There's only one other guy that ever made a resin master of this type truck, and it's the smaller N series. It's a 600, and that was Tom Elifrit, and you can get that through uh, Motor City Resin Casters. They sell that, and it's nowhere near as comprehensive as this. I think it's just the cab. It might be the cab in the interior or something like that, but it's doesn't have the engine, the chassis, the wheels. You know, it's just like a starting point. But Tom Elifrit is an incredible model maker. Oh, my God. I own a couple of his models. Man, they're nice. Guy does an excellent job. So I highly recommend that kit if you if you want a 9, I mean a N-Series. And this kit may still be available. I don't know. But it's from Dan Models in Russia. And a couple people I know ordered it also and said they had a hell of a time getting it. So be prepared. You know, I got real lucky and I got it quick with no problems. But everybody else I've talked to that's ordered it said they had problems. So, you know, I, it's not like I can re recommend them on that. But just wanted to share this with you. Just another cool, obscure truck kit that, you know, you may have never seen. I'll see ya.